We're going to get started by saving everything. We're going to call it the index page. I-N-D-E-X page. We're going to save it to our root folder. We're going to close Dreamweaver. We're going to go to our root folder and make sure we're synced up. Let's go down, find that index page. There it is. Chrome is my default browser. Open it in any browser. Voila. Our index page is in our root folder, our local host root folder. Now we're set and we're not going to have any syncing problems once we get started on this project. Okay, let's bring Dreamweaver back up and let's get started with the things we need to do to construct this learning object. I'm going to delete that logo. I'm going to go over here to my local files folder and you can simply click an asset and drag it to where you want it. I'm going to give it an alternate text. This is for your non-sided viewers. I'm going to tell them exactly what it is. It is an EWC banner. And when I click OK, that thing's going to pop in there. I've already measured my container and I've already pre-formatted my banner to fit the container. OK, the uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to set the background of the page to white so that my page fits in with uh, the background of a browser, which is usually white. And let's see. Uh, let's see how it looks now with the banner. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to save it. Save your work every minute or so. Every time you think about it, save your work. Let's open it up and see how it looks. See how there's no brown on either side. It looks like a, a web page on the web. Okay, so I've set my background. Now I'm ready to go back to Dreamweaver. Now let's go to uh, let's go to Split View. The next thing we're going to do is uh, delete one of those sidebars there, because all I need is those uh, set of links up there. So I go to CSS. I click on sidebar number one, and I'm going to edit that rule. It comes up. And the first thing I'm going to do is make it a white background so that it will blend in with the rest of my page. Click on white on my color cubes. Click OK. Uh, great. Now I've got a white background. And now all I have to do is to delete that text. And I will have gotten rid of a sidebar that I don't need. Let's go back up. Now the next thing we're going to do is to add a link. So I'm going to copy and paste this last link. LI is a uh, list item. And I'm simply going to make some space and copy and paste a new list item in. So it's angle bracket list item, close angle bracket. And then there's the link uh, ready to be put in. And I just changed the number four to the number five. And I'll be good to go. So as I click in Design View, you see that the link pops in. So now I have my five links. And I'm going to delete that uh, paragraph space there. Don't need that anymore. Now let's work on these links a little bit. Now with these uh, spry links, really the only thing you can do is to uh, change the active color and uh, the rollover. Uh, color right now. We're going to do some more link work a little bit later. So let's go ahead and highlight them, make sure we're in CSS. And I'm going to uh, show you that you don't have to go with the color cubes. There are a lot of different sets. Here's the Windows operating system colors. If you want to sync it up with your Windows, there's Mac, there's grayscale. I'm going to go ahead and use the generic color cubes. And I'm going to choose white so that the background of my nav box fits in with the white background of my page. Fantastic. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to set the uh, rollover color. That's background focus. And this is whenever you place your mouse on it, what it's going to turn into. I'm going to go with uh, 0999 gray. And I'll be sure to remember that so that anything else gray I put in my website is also that. And so as you'll see now, Whenever I um, close this down and open it up in a web browser, you'll see that whenever I put my mouse, I hover over it, um, I get the spry action there.